but we're kicking things off right here in the Price Chopper kitchen with Chef Colby Garrett. Geralt, yes. uh, he is the owner of Blue Stem as well as Rye, so many amazing restaurants and sometimes the holiday meal it can get a little overwhelming. It can and and that's what we're here to show you today, give you a couple of different ideas on how to how to use some everyday products and kind of use some techniques to heighten them a little bit. Okay, boneless pork chops here. Yeah, this is this is a boneless pork chop. Um, I this is a Smithfield Prime pork chop that I that we can get at like Constantino's or Price Chopper. It's a really versatile piece of yeah. meat. Um, I brought it here today in a brine that you can see. It's really easy to do. You just, uh, you know, we'll have the recipe for you, but it's salt and sugar and garlic and, and mm -hmm. a little bay leaf. <clears throat> Leave it in here for a couple hours. And then as you saute them, it, you know, it's, it comes out really tender and juicy. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, it's just a really easy technique um, this, to do pork. And is this something we got to have the bay leaf? We can't skip these steps. Well, you can use different herbs. Mm -hmm. You can use oregano, thyme, things like that. Peppercorns. There's a little clove in there. Um, just, you know, it's kind of fun. As long as you do the salt and sugar at the right ratios, the, the, the other herbs are, are kind of just extra. We got something cooking over here as well. Yes, and okay. right here, this is another example of something that I wanted to show that's a little bit different. This is farro. It's, it's spelt. Um, you know, it's one of those superfood grains. You can see it dry right here. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, you can do things like oatmeal, farro, different kind of, of grains to uh, make with risotto instead of using the, the arborio rice. And when you were talking about this, I was just blown away because sometimes we think like risotto, we're gonna get a lot of sodium, things like that. And if we can use a natural grain. Yeah, it's really good for you. And, it's, and it tastes delicious too, and it, it's really nutty. Um, and and different you know and you just you just treat it like risotto you add stock to it and until you know it gets it gets cooked and it sucks up all the the stock just like rice does okay and you've also been talking about pairing this with a nice squash a lot of times we see right. these in the winter time why did you pick this particular one? i love winter squashes like butternut acorn and it's i think people see them in the grocery store and don't always know what to do with them but you can kind of treat them like sweet potatoes or anything mm -hmm. like that you know we just i i cooked mine with a little bit of stock a little butter a little clove a little cinnamon and then um yeah you can just serve it alongside the rest of the dish we got a little pork chop right here Oh, look how delicious that is. See, I think we want a seat at the table for your holiday meals yeah. because you and your wife both yeah. are, are chefs. She yes. handles kind of the pastries, the sweeter she things. She does. She does the sweet stuff. I do the savory stuff. And yeah, it's, uh, we serve a lot of holiday meals. And, and you know, I enjoy it. A lot of people are like, dude, do you want to go home and cook after work? And I actually do enjoy cooking after work. So, oh. so we got to ask you something personal. You know, what's going to be on your holiday menu? Um, actually, I'm going to my in-laws this year. I lucked out. <laughs> okay. Usually every year I cook like, um, I do like a porchetta or something like that. Um, and this year I'm, I actually get to be the guest, so. Well, that's so nice. And I yes. think you also scored a lot of points because on live TV, you just said that you were lucky. You're going to the in-laws, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, well. Okay. You, you gotta be that way. So now, do you have any tips trouble. for, um, tips for plating this? Um, I just, you know, I, not really. I mean, it's nice to just kind of, I like to eat all my things all together. And it's so, beautiful. Yeah, you just kind of set it up that way. Garnish it with a little bit of greens. Okay. Just a little rugula and a little pea shoot. And uh, there you go. You get your bonus pork loin with uh, farro risotto and acorn squash. See, I love this because Colby's actually teaching us how to, uh, you know, kind of get that flair from the James Beard Award winner for the Midwest because yes. you, you're actually one of the chefs that have won that award. Yeah, it's uh, that was back in 2013 and it was uh it was quite an experience so i'm okay. very very honored awesome and we just saw a full photo and of course that meal looks delicious mm -hmm. looks great right here i'm gonna uh i think you want me I, to I don't cut think some we, of that yeah why don't you do that so i can take a little bite with a spoon <laughs> sure but we're sure. gonna make do here in the price job yeah, we'll kitchen just, of course we'll just do a little slice um, here so that that way you guys can really know that this is delicious and yeah. it looks amazing of course so mm -hmm. we'll do that mm -hmm. is it good oh god oh god okay. thank you <laughs> 